Hi, it's me again with Corral Draw Tips and Tricks. And I'm going to go over tonight is, I made these two candle holders today. They're really pretty neat. They cut really good out. They're, the file is for to be used with eighth inch wood. Well, if you've been doing this long enough, you know that eighth inch wood isn't always eighth inch wood. Um, plywood, especially, depending on who you get it from, can be from 0.11 to 0.13. And, or even maybe more than that. Uh, if the wood has a finish on it like this alder does, it might be a little bit thicker. So you, some of the times you're going to have to resize the file to make it fit your wood. Now, with this being said, all lasers are different. Now, the file has basically three legs, a bottom and a top to hold the candle. And a good way to measure this is to use your you need when you measure something that needs to be pretty accurate. You need to get pretty, pretty tied up on it. Zoom in really good. Grab your parallel dimension tool. Put that edge right in the middle of the red line and about right in the middle of the red line. Then let off your mouse and go up and it's 0.11. Eighth inch wood is 0.125. But this might work on your wood. Because uh, the laser is going to take out wood. If anything that cuts leaves a kerf mark, a table saw, a band saw, or even a laser takes out a kerf. It's the amount of wood that's removed by the blade or the flame of the laser. So that might work on your wood. But if it's too tight and it won't fit, instead of going through here and painstakingly redrawing all Let's see, there's 12, 13, uh, there's 12 different cuts you'd have to redraw. And that's, it's not fun. It can be done. It's not fun. And this guy, whoever drew this, did a really good job because the fact that the, the bottom, the bottom is a little narrower than the top. So it's, you know, if it fits up there and it's going to eventually get really tight and you might not even have to use glue. So it's a really good file. But so instead of redrawing that, all you have to do is group these together. And I've already done this one, but go up here right here to your percent scale, uh, scale factor. Now you could do this, but I guarantee you can't get it correctly. And it might not be growing it equally as you think it is where this percent does. Now I've already done this and I, so I increased it to one zero one point zero. I'm not going to do it because I've already done that one to this one. And now you can see I'm at point 12. So that might work for your wood. And you can also increase that by a half percent. Uh, you could go one zero zero point one, and it would be so minutely that uh, you probably couldn't tell any difference. Now, with that said, when you wanted to cut this out, and if you can imagine that there's, uh, let me just arrange this. If you wanted to do, do a test, well, you can just do a test on these two pieces. So let's say you're going to do a test on this piece and this piece. That's five inches of wood and or over five. And of course you could get this and, and um, turn it sideways. Bring it in here a little closer. but you need to cut out these two parts to fit them together. So you're still looking at almost four inches of wood by th almost three inches of wood. So what I would do, I would run a test on these two pieces and these are the two pieces and all I did was take a circle of a hairline, go up and get your virtual segment delete key and delete that line, delete that line, 
and delete that. Then you could cut this out, do that to both of them, you know, so they're equal. So you could grab that and that. And now you're under a um, three quarters of an inch of wood by a half inch of wood that you've, you've tested. And, you know, you could get your sheet and put it way up here in the corner and run your test. It also a good test to, you know, because all plywoods are a little bit different in, in the cut. So you could also run your, you know, your vector test to make sure it cuts all the way through cleanly. But that'll save you a lot of time instead of redrawing these. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like this file, just email me off this um, YouTube and I'll YouTube video and send me your email and I'll send you the file. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.